Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial in Logic Pro 10 on how to clean up guitar leads. So, what I'm working with here is I've got a DI guitar lead. I basically just plugged my guitar directly into the direct input on my audio interface. I'm using a guitar amp uh, simulator. I'm using uh, Amplitude, as I do often. Um, and I'll probably reamp this later with a real guitar amp, but I like to work with DI guitar because I it allows me to... Uh, to edit the DI guitar, edit the clean signal before it hits the amp or for, before it hits the amp plugin, I end up with a, uh, a more natural, um, cleaner sound that way. If I try to edit, ed, uh, edit amped guitar, sometimes I run into issues where I can hear the edits. Um, so what I'm working on right now is I'm working on a remix for a client where we are going to be remixing, or we are in the middle of remixing uh, Adventure of a Lifetime by Coldplay. And... One of the things I had to do for this song was learn that really fast um, intro, uh, it's sort of like a synth lead layered with guitar. Um, I have uh, the MIDI here for it. Basically, I just played this in on my keyboard. I'm just using like the ES2 or something as a placeholder um, for that sound. And then I've got the same thing in the guitar that I recorded um, just by playing it. Um, what I've done, just as a reference, is I have the guitar pan slightly left, and I have the uh, synth sli uh, pan slightly right, and you'll hear that they're they're not quite exactly uh, tight. They're pretty tight, but they're, it, it, they I want them to sort of sound like one instrument. And in order to do that, the guitar needs to be perfectly in time and perfectly in tune. I know that the synth lead is perfectly in time and in tune because it's a synthesizer, and I quantized it to the grid. So uh, let's listen to this real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to use flex pitch mode to clean up both the pitch and clean up the um, uh, the timing of our guitar lead here. So on my guitar track, uh, first of all, I'm just going to unsole the main synth lead here. Um, I'm going to turn on flex time right here. And then right on the track, I'll turn on flex time as well. And I'm going to make sure I choose flex pitch. It's probably going to automatically analyze it in monophonic mode or something, but I'm going to choose flex pitch. I am not a big fan of working out here in the arrangement window with flex pitch. I would rather open it up in its separate editor. So if you just double click on the top bar of the, uh, the clip, it'll open it up in the track editor. We scroll down and there's our pitches. So um, it's not that the guitar was out of tune. It's that guitar intonation um, isn't exactly perfect. Um, the higher you go up in the neck, sometimes the the strings tend to be sharp or flat or whatever. And I think the way I was playing, I was really hammering on really hard and my I was pressing down really hard. So I think some of the intonation was a bit sharp uh, in the upper range. And in order for this to, for me to feel like one instrument, these two, the synth and the guitar together to feel like one instrument, I want the intonation of the two instruments to be the same. I don't want something to be a little bit too, too sharp like it is here. Um, and you can see that when you look at these notes, if I zoom in, you can see that a lot of these notes are slightly above where they should be. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command A to select all, and I'm just going to pull the pitch correction slider all the way up. Easy as pie and you'll see everything drops down a little bit. Second, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to time quantize all of this um, to a 16th note. Um, Cause you can see some of the notes are slightly ahead of the grid, some are behind, slightly behind the grid. So again, I'm gonna hit command A to select all. I'm gonna choose a time quantize of a 16th note and pull the strength all the way up. And everything should be sort of locked in time. I'm not going to take the natural vibrato out. Um, that's something I might do with, play around with, like with voice. But for the guitar here, I kind of want that natural uh, vibrato to be in there because there's some spots where I sort of like I almost wiggle the string a little bit, almost like a little bit of a vibrato. So I want to keep that in there. Um, so let's listen to that by itself, and then we'll listen to it with our our synth lead. There we go, perfect take. Well, sounds like a perfect take now. Let's listen to it with our synth lead.
All right, so the only thing that's left to do is just edit this up and sort of line it up four times. It's essentially a, uh, a guitar synth loop that's going to play back for a good chunk of the song. So um, I'll do that off screen and I'll be right back. And there we go, we cleaned up our guitar lead using flex time and flex pitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.